Candidates for State Senator, District 20. Paul Boyer. Party Republican. Campaign funding, traditional. Website, boyeraz.com. I'm honored to serve you. In my relatively short time in the state legislature, I've received the guardian of small business, friend of the family, hero of the taxpayer, and champion of the taxpayer awards. I'm a high school teacher as my day job, so no one is surprised that I work hard on education issues, but I'm equally passionate about looking after our first responders and other critical priorities, like keeping children safe from predators. We recently completed increasing teacher pay 20% as promised. Another thing we did was to build up Arizona's rainy day fund so that we'd be ready for an economic crisis. It's a good thing we did so because now we need it to help us get our state back on track as quickly as possible. As we get Arizona back to work, my priorities continue to be protecting life protecting taxpayers, job creation, improving education, protecting our first responders, and keeping our children safe from online predators. Please visit my website, boyeraz.com, to learn more. And never hesitate to contact me if you have any questions or comments. Thank you. Douglas Irvin, Party, Democratic, Campaign Funding, Traditional, Website, www.irvin4az.com. Residents of District 20 deserve a state senator like Doug Irvin, who will listen to their needs represent them honestly, and fight against the short-sightedness and partisanship that is unfortunately prevalent in politics. As an experienced accountant, corporate tax auditor, and financial systems architect, he possesses the knowledge necessary to critically analyze budgets and understand their true impact on our state's economy. Moreover, exemplified through helping transform a small local business into an international firm, completing an Ironman triathlon, and tutoring second grade students in his free time. Doug understands the importance of hard work, perseverance, and patience. Doug is working to restore fiscal responsibility to our state legislature so all students receive a great education, people have access to quality, affordable health care, and we make smart infrastructure investments all of which will help grow our economy and create good paying jobs. The son of an Air Force captain and teacher of nursing, Doug has called Arizona home since the age of three and enjoys backpacking, reading, and spending time with his family. He is grateful for your time and support. 
vote Doug Irvin for state senator. Candidates for State Representative, District 20. Shauna Bollock. Party, Republican. Campaign funding, traditional. Website, www.bollockforarizona.com. Representative Shauna Bollock's proven leadership has been refreshing in today's political environment. Bollock is a dedicated policymaker whose work on behalf of her constituents has captured positive news headlines far and wide. Shauna has proven herself worthy of re-election by standing for the principles of limited government, free enterprise, individual liberty, and fiscal responsibility. I encourage you to support her return to Arizona Legislature. U.S. Senator John Kyle. As your legislator, I successfully spearheaded one of Governor Ducey's legislative priorities, dedicating a day to civics education, collaborated with the Attorney General on consumer protection laws, helped obtain grants for nonprofits who assist victims of human trafficking, supported the final two installments of the 20 by 2020 promise to fund teacher salaries, helped pass a responsible budget reflecting our new fiscal realities, and worked across the aisle on criminal justice reforms. I will continue to fight to keep small businesses alive. Many Arizonans have lost their jobs, homes, and economic livelihoods. I am committed to helping Arizona's economy regain its footing by putting people back to work so we can thrive again. Please visit my website to learn more or ask questions, and I humbly ask for your vote. Anthony Kern, Party, Republican, Campaign Funding, Traditional, Website, www.votekern.com. As Arizona begins to recover from the COVID-19 virus and the damage it did to our economy, I'm working hard to protect the taxpayers, maintain a balanced budget, protect our schools, and keep Arizona's economy one of the strongest in the country. We were better positioned than most states to deal with this crisis because we have been responsible with our spending. We built up a $1 billion rainy day fund and have taken steps to support an improved and expanded healthcare industry here in Arizona. In addition to getting Arizona back on its feet, I continue to keep my campaign promises, including supporting law enforcement and first responders to keep our neighborhoods safe, increasing K-12 spending 
and boosting teacher pay. It was tough to do because every House Democrat voted no. And protecting our constitutional rights. I've been awarded the Liberty Award, Friend of the Family Award, and Hero of the Taxpayer Award. My wife and I love the West Valley and Arizona. It is my honor to serve you and ask for your vote so that I can continue to work hard on your behalf, listen to your concerns, and do my best for Arizona. Thank you. Judy Schweibert. Party, Democratic, Campaign Funding, Traditional, Website, Judy4AZ.com. I've spent my life in LD20 as the mom of two successful now adult sons, a teacher for 27 years at Cactus and Greenway High Schools and a community leader. I know and share the priorities of our district. This is my home. As a teacher, co-founder of Theater Works, a church board member, a community center director, and a leader of a nonpartisan group with demonstrated impact, I've learned powerful lessons about how listening and working together gives everyone a chance to succeed. As your representative in the State House, I will continue to listen to you and work together to address the issues that are important to you and your family, including restoring school funding, ensuring quality, affordable health care, and fostering good paying jobs that allow all Arizonans their chance at the American dream. I will always put people first. I'll prioritize smart investments in our community's future because I know that we all do better when every student gets a quality education and every family and business has their chance to thrive.